Hello, design lovers. I'm Ashley Childers, and today I'm revealing the luxury design secrets that will instantly elevate your home, including my 15 tips for getting a designer look every time. Y'all, these are my tried and true tricks for creating a magazine-worthy room, and they are all so good, so you're going to want to stick around for each one. I know you're going to love today's video, so be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because we drop a new design video every week. Let's dive into luxury design secret number one, and that is a cohesive color palette. Now, this is something that I speak about all the time, but it's so important in setting the tone of your home and creating a luxury designer look. When you are choosing the color palette for your home, meaning your paint colors, your home furnishings colors, your decorative accessories, rugs, upholstery, all of those things, you want to stick to a cohesive color palette from lights to darks. So say that you are choosing the hero colors of your home and those colors have a warm undertone. When choosing the complementary colors to go with those hero colors, you're going to want to make sure that they also have warm undertones and vice versa if you're choosing cool tone colors. It's really all about building beautiful layers that are complementary. We've actually just created a free paint guide that lists all of my very favorite paint colors in all the color families as well as whole home paint color palettes, y'all. This is so good. If you are embarking on a new paint project in your home, you're going to want to grab this guide. I will link it below. On to tip number two for a luxury look, and that is architectural details. I speak about beautiful architectural moldings all the time because I'm a huge fan of the interest and character they add to a space. These details add instant depth to a room and are my go-to too secret for creating a high-end designer look. Now, if you're a DIYer, many of these wall details can be added yourself. Or if you don't want to go that far, you can easily hire a trim carpenter to add some beautiful architectural details to your home easily and pretty affordably. A few of my favorites are picture molding, tongue and groove paneling on walls, raised panel molding, Cove crown molding. I love stacked base molding and I love, love, love beautiful architectural beams. All of these applied architectural moldings will add instant character and depth to your room, I promise. Designer tip number three is feature floors. We have seen a surge in unique flooring used in beautiful interiors over the past few years, and it's something that can add such a wow factor to your home. Examples of this could be a beautiful stone checkered floor or a herringbone patterned wood floor or maybe even a tile mosaic with an inlay pattern or even a hand-painted floor. There's just so many ways to amp up the floors in your home and using one of these unique and creative applications will add so much personality to your space. Designer tip number four is lighting levels. Okay, this is a big one guys, so pay attention. There is nothing more impactful to your space than lighting. So I want you to think about adding levels of light to your home. So that means upper level lights, which is chandeliers and pendants, medium level lights, which is wall sconces, or maybe even like a picture light, like an art light, and then lower level lights, which would be table lamps, floor lamps, and up lights. Creating these various levels of light in your spaces adds so much depth because it creates pockets of light and shadow. This is a designer tip that pays off big time, so be sure to include 
all three of these lighting levels in your home. Now lighting can be a bit technical, so we have created an entire lighting guide that you can download for free. If you are getting ready to choose new lighting for your home, or if you just need some designer direction on how to install lighting, the scale, the temperature, we've got it all in this guide for you and you can download it below. Tip number five is choosing upholstery that lasts. Now upholstery is a big investment and when not chosen properly, it can show signs of wear and tear very quickly, which is not the luxury designer look we're going for. So the first tip is when you are choosing upholstery for your home, whether it's a sofa or a sectional, a side chair, a lounge chair, a settee, all the things, make sure that you are purchasing the very best quality that you can. The second tip is to always go with pieces that have a hardwood frame and either a sinuous springs construction or if you wanna get fancy, go eight-way hand tie. This is really, really important because a lot of times our sofas live in our homes for a decade. We want to make sure that the inside construction of these pieces are built to last. Now, a few pro tips on the outside of the pieces. First of all, your cushions, your seat cushions especially, need to be made of high density foam. And if you're like me and like a little squish, have them wrapped in down. A lot of nicer upholstery pieces come this way already. When it comes to the fabric choices, look for fabric that is going to stay in the test of time. So we want to either go with a Krypton fabric or something that is made with a really durable material, cotton, velvet, something like that. Also, this is a pro tip I need for you to hear me on this one because this one's really important. Most people don't know this. If you don't want your sofa to show wear and tear, choose one that does not have a welt detail on the front. What happens when you have that beautiful little welt on the front of your sofa cushion? Over time, it starts to sag and it looks sloppy. So when you're choosing a sofa or a chair or a sectional, choose one where the seat cushions have either a flat or saddle stitch seam, and I promise you, it will look great for years to come. Number six on our list of designer details is window treatments that wow. Window treatments soften a space and instantly add a cozy, welcoming layer to your rooms. So when you are choosing window treatments, Think about these tips. If you're doing a full drapery panel, I want you to take that drapery rod as far up as you can on the wall. This makes a beautiful statement in the room and it brings the eye up. We do this all the time. If we don't do a high drapery rod, we've also been including drapery pockets in our clients' homes. This is a really beautiful modern way to do full drapery panels that bring your eye up. Also think about adding cafe curtains, valances, Roman shades, or shears to your window. These pretty little window treatment details will add so much charm and character to your rooms. Designer tip number seven is to include artisanal wall details. This tip covers a plethora of things from wallpaper, plaster, lime wash, wainscoting, tongue and groove paneling, raised panel molding, picture molding, anything that adds interest and detail to your walls. You would be amazed at how much depth and character these elements can add to your space. So if you're looking for a designer tip to really change the look and feel of your home, this is the one. Moving on to tip number eight, and that is timeless hardware. Now interior hardware is sometimes an afterthought, but let me tell you, it is so important in setting the tone of your interior spaces. I often hear our clients say that they want to opt for interior hardware that is less expensive, whatever. But let me tell you something. 
the doorknobs, door levers, cabinet pulls, drawer pulls, cabinet knobs, all of those things in your home are functional and beautiful. You touch them every single day. So choosing pieces that are made well, they're made out of solid material, they have a finish that is going to stand up to daily wear and tear. These are really, really important and something that can elevate the look, feel, and functionality of your home. The ninth luxury designer tip is organic accents. This tip is so easy, y'all. Go grab a bouquet of flowers at your local supermarket or clip some branches from your yard or bring in a potted plant into your interior spaces. These organic accents not only add a layer of vitality to your home, but they also are a huge mood booster. So go grab some flowers and add organic accents to your space. The 10th design secret is textural layers. This tip is all about the pillows and blankets that you decorate your space with. So when you are choosing pillows for your sofa, say, I want you to think about incorporating different size pillows. So starting with something like maybe a 24 by 24 inch square, that's one of my favorite sizes to anchor a sofa with. Then going down to a 22 by 22, or you could even do a lumbar size, then maybe also including a 20 by 20 pillow. This just adds so much interest because everything's not matchy matchy. Also, layering pattern or textures. So maybe you're not a big pattern person, but I want you to layer textures. So maybe you've got a nubby wool with a velvet, with a suede, or if you do wanna go full on pattern, you've got like a large stripe and a floral, and then maybe a petite pattern or petite floral. Whatever it is, just make sure that you're adding interest. Pillows are so easy to change out, and there's one of those things that you can just totally play around with. So make sure that you create a unique and artistic grouping. One more quick pro tip on throw pillows. When you are choosing the inserts for your throw pillows, I'm going to give you a secret. Go at least two inches larger. So if you have a 24 by 24 inch pillow cover, do a 26 by 26 insert. This is going to give you that overstuffed luxury designer look that I know you want. As for throw blankets, always choose a natural fiber when you can. I opt for cotton, linen, wool. These beautiful natural fibers not only add wonderful texture to your space, but they also hold up for years. Designer tip number 11 is to get organized. There is nothing more calming and luxurious than to have functional, well-organized spaces. This tip is so easy to accomplish and it will pay dividends in how you feel in your home. We actually just did an entire video on my top 15 designer organizing ideas. If you want your home to be an organized dream, check out the link below for the video as well as the link for my top 15 designer organizing products. Okay, stay with me friends, we are in the home stretch. Number 12 on our list is incorporating antiques and vintage pieces into your decor. This is probably one of my very favorite tips of all. I love incorporating antique and vintage pieces into all of my designs and into my own personal home. Mixing in these pieces adds soul and patina and character to your home. It creates a space that is uniquely you and it keeps your home from looking like a furniture showroom. So if you want to add personalized character to your space, I highly recommend doing it through vintage and antique decor. Now, a few of my favorite things to look for when I am antique and vintage shopping is beautiful wood 
case goods. So that could be a chest of drawers or an armoire or even a table. I also really love antique rugs. They're usually hand knotted and really, really well made. And let me tell you something, if a rug has lasted for a hundred years, it is gonna have no problem being in your home. I love antique mirrors, I love antique lighting fixtures, and then of course beautiful books, decorative accessories. Really, I like everything antique and vintage. Just find something that speaks to you, bring it home, you're gonna add so much character and charm to your space. Now, as a designer, number 13 on our list is one of my favorites, and it is artful styling. This is all about arranging the decorative pieces in your home to create beautiful, artful vignettes. This is a fun one. So just play around with the decorative pieces that you have in your home. Think about composing vignettes with varying scales of pieces and including different materials. Anything to create a beautiful vignette that draws in the eye and also is a reflection of your personal style. Now, when you're styling, keep in mind the principles of interest, scale, repetition, and movement. And if you need some pro tips on designer styling, check out a few of my videos. I've done tons of them in the past. Designer tip number 14 is to add interest with rugs. There are few other things that add more of an impact to your space than a beautiful rug. Think about how much real estate a large rug takes up in your room. Besides your walls and ceiling, a large area rug is the most impactful statement that you can make. So choosing one that has a beautiful color or wonderful texture or pattern can make a really big statement in your room. So let's talk about how to do that. Now, if you are choosing a rug for let's say your living room and it's going under a seating grouping, I want you to go bigger than you would normally think. Make sure that your entire seating grouping is sitting on top of the rug or at the very least the front legs of the pieces of furniture like the sofa and side chairs are on the rug. When you move into the dining room, I want you to make sure that the scale of the rug is large enough that when the dining chairs are pulled out and someone's sitting in the chair, that, they, that the legs of the chair are completely on the rug. If not, you're going to have an unintentional rocking chair. Not a good look and also not comfortable. Moving into the kitchen when you are choosing a runner for let's say a walkway maybe in front of your range, always opt for a width of rug that is at least two thirds the size of the walkway. This will be the perfect scale. So go up in scale, choose a beautiful pattern or color that you love and add textural interest to your home with rugs. Okay, we've made it. We are at the 15th luxury design secret for elevating your home and it's creating a welcoming entry. You want your guests to feel welcomed and at ease as soon as they arrive in your home. So adding in a few thoughtful details is key. On the exterior of your home, adding in potted plants, a beautiful wreath, and a sophisticated doormat will do the trick. This welcomes your guests as soon as they arrive to your front door. Now inside your home, adding a table, table lamp, fresh flowers, a couple of beautiful decorative accessories, and a signature scent will welcome your guests as soon as they enter your home. I personally also like including a beautiful large scale mirror for reflecting the light and just adding some interest and depth to the space. And if you have the room, adding in a little stool or bench for your guests to drop their purse or to sit down and have a quick chat. Okay friends, who's ready to try out one or several of the 15 designer tips that I shared today? I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments which one of the designer tips was your favorite and if you have one in particular that you're ready to try out in your home. Now, if you love all things design, 
like I obviously do, check us out on Instagram at Ashley Childers Home and also over on Pinterest. We have tons of design inspiration and we cannot wait to welcome you into our design loving community. Also remember that we've got the free lighting and paint guide linked below. So if you're ready to get a jump start on creating a designer look in your home, you're going to want to check those out. Now, if you want even more designer tips and tricks right now, you're going to want to watch this playlist next. As always, I'm Ashley Childers. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, good design is for everyone. So create a home that inspires you. Have fun decorating your spaces and fall in love with where you live one room at a time.